Hey yo, what's up everyone? We are back with another Terraria video. So the developer of this mod, I believe commented and came to one of my streams telling me to play this mod. And also I saw Fury and the boys play it. And you know, I saw it and I was like, oh yes, this needs to be played by me. And the mod is called Lava Rain. Now I got it enabled here, but there is config options we can change. And you know, just because you know, I'm feeling this is not that dangerous. I haven't really seen too much gameplay of it. Let, let's turn everything up as high as we can. You know, how fast lava shim out nearby materials a thousand rise rate a thousand frequency that's already max rain intensity already max spawn buffer zero is there more more settings oh here we go sky effects sure turn it all the way up who the hell cares all right that should be everything i think so we are going to save it okay you have to hit save when you're on that single page my bad didn't know that make sure if you do change the config that you reload it i think i don't know or at least make a new world all right here we go we got the world coming up playing as my favorite character bernie sanders uh this already looks very bad i was thinking about playing this with one hp so the goal here obviously it's to live for as long as you can uh, uh this this might be a little a little too hellish let's see how long our iframes are oh god there's queen bees being awoken let's see how long our iframes are <laughs> okay i may have to tone this down a little bit this is a little bit more strong than i expected like i don't even think we can spawn in anymore wait <laughs> i'm kind of interested to see what happens if the world fills up slowly see if i didn't have cheat sheet i wouldn't be able to even leave the game because i just keep dying before i could bring up the pause menu but uh yeah we might have to tone everything down oh look everything kind of went away the lava that was filling up the area kind of just settled yeah uh we're gonna we're gonna leave this world we're gonna try again but you know i, I try my best so i'm full of everything so with the settings turned down a little bit okay not too turned down I'm assuming we just want to get out of here as fast as we can. Just grab this tree real quick. Come on, look quicker than that. Lava's going to start settling. Get this, and then we're going underground. Oh my god, this is bad. Dude, <laughs> I turned the settings down a, a decent amount. I, I kept the rain at maximum. Because I only thought it would be fun if the rain was at maximum. But these queen bees spawning and then killing me all the time, I, they're not helping much. I, re I really didn't think it was going to be this bad. I turned stuff down from 1,000 to like 50, which is a very big difference. Let's see here. If I can get up like this, uh-huh, can I go like this? No! <laughs> All right, by some sort of stroke of luck, I've encapsulated myself here where there's no lava. I really don't know how. What the fuck? There's just lava here now. What the heck? <laughs> I'm dead. It's all good. We, I think we spawned right back in here, but like, why? This lava just straight up appeared. Oh, no, we didn't die. Why is the lava here now, though? <laughs> it's made my life harder. Okay, hold up. Let's see if we could just, like, trap this somewhere. I can't even, I can't reach that far. And there's there's a fucking queen bee. I fucking hate calamity, bro. <laughs> These stupid queen bees they have everywhere. This lava like doesn't move how regular lava moves. <laughs> And then also when you break a block underneath these like ember blocks or whatever, they fall down like it's sand. What the heck? <laughs> I can't I can't do anything. Is this lava gone? No, look the the lava like hardened into magma or something. What the heck? Look at this lava. Why does it take so long for it to move? I can't even dig down. Okay, let's try it. Let's try. I can't even go over there because if I mind this, it falls down. I'm fucking trapped. Okay, okay. I got something going on here. Slowly moving the lava this direction. So all the lava should fall there and I should be chilling. We're chilling with we actually found a way to get down. Oh my God, what are those noises? Who's making that noise? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn up our brightness once so we can see a little bit here. And uh, we have made it to the underground. You know, this is how I'm assuming the uh, apocalypse would be like, something like this. Maybe not lava rain, but like radiation or some sort of crazy weather effect. I don't know, That's that radiation isn't exactly a weather. All right, we have made it to our first official cave here. If we die, then like that's pretty much game over. Actually, I don't know. We might spawn in that hole again, but the world is starting to get a little laggy. Like I can feel the frames dropping a little bit. But yeah, we're here. We're pretty much playing the uh, the drow elf the drow elf challenge at this point. Or if you're an OG Minecraft person, you know we're doing the 404 challenge. And uh, no, honestly, it's not that bad. I don't know if I'll sit here and try and fight a boss, but l l let's see what we can do. We have our first actual slime here, not a modded one. We can actually get some gel. Don't kill me though. Please don't kill me. Oh God, why did I just see lava raining down here? That better not happen again. We're underground, so it makes no sense for lava to be seeping through like that. I guess realistically it could, but this ain't realistic, so uh, that better stop whatever the hell's going on there. But with that gel, look at that. We can actually make some torches. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm gonna take this zombie statue. It's gonna be my only friend down here. And uh, I should take this statue while I'm at it too. Because the goal is to fight a boss. 
but am i really about to sit here and play this game just to fight a, fight one boss is not we're not even doing the the challenge at this point i kind of just want to see what happens to the overworld by the time i go back up there that's really what i want to see but you know if if we get the materials for me playing a little bit you know get enough materials to fight a boss then we might have to do it so my goal right now is if we're gonna fight a boss i need to get my hands on the highest or tier down here possible and that is probably platinum i believe that's what's that's the ore we have yep platinum and then try and get our hands on some decent weaponry and we should be able to fight whatever boss we can fight down here which is probably gonna be the eye cthulhu who the fuck is this jack do i know you why is there a dude named jack down here okay okay so i'm getting pretty deep here and i'm noticing that there's lava straight up appearing out of nowhere like this lava right here has been moving on its own as you can see just straight up out of nowhere you know there was nothing there a second ago and it's moving down here where there was water actually there was lava and now there's lava on top of the water which the water was on top of the lava so hopefully lava doesn't randomly just drown me and kill me underground because it's slowly finding a way to creep through it's slowly finding a way to creep through i wonder just how backed up it is up on the surface i have encountered pinky deep underground i feel like i've never seen pinky this deep underground i've seen it like maybe on like a surface cave but this deep underground like look how i'm pretty deep this is a medium-sized world too so like me being almost like halfway down that's that's pretty damn deep we have a rare sight for once it is no eyed willy this may be like the first time ever the skeleton merchant is useful maybe i don't know maybe i should zoom out because i know this dude has a weird thing about him despawning when he's a little bit off camera but he kind of spawned when he wasn't even on camera to begin with so let's hope we can get down there i'm gonna go this way let's see if he's selling anything else useful we can make some arrows some arrows would always be useful but let's see no eyed willy what do you have don't show me your willy though let's see wow i don't think i can really make use of any of this the potions maybe no we got 14 potions i don't think i'm gonna go through 14 fighting anything but uh this he has arrows they kind of suck he's got torches i don't really need torches he's got a counterweight but i don't think i mean i should buy the counterweight i also want bombs all right let's make some deals here i think i'm gonna pick up the counterweight and i think i'm gonna pick up some bombs all right here we are we're underground i have a decent amount of everything that i want so let us get crafting here hopefully 241 platinum is enough also got my eyeball also got decent health it's been 36 minutes this is not too bad of a terraria start but yeah we're here oh god pink zora's underneath me which honestly pink zora's weapon might help me but for now i'm just gonna ignore pink zora i don't think it goes through walls but yeah let's craft some stuff here um i need to craft a furnace boom i chose this granite biome to probably be the place where we fight the eye because it's granite biome a lot of open room so let us go ahead and make some platinum gonna make as much as we can 60 i don't think that's enough to make armor really 241 only made 60 bars okay let's start with the highest defense part which is the chest plate and we only have enough to make a chest plate and a helmet really terraria armor is too damn expensive for how hard it is to find the ore i can see through walls and i still had trouble finding the ore like bruh i've made it here to the uh calamity biome what is that thing yeah i made it over here to the calamity biome uh i don't know if it's dangerous to be here or not but i don't plan on going too deep in here is that a slime what is that it looks like a slime right hello what are you a rock ah uh, who knows but yeah let's open up this chest because i believe this is a calamity chest too so there might be goodies oh shoot what is this garden fungal symbiote true melee weapons emit mushrooms when swung well shit what is true melee are you talking about like swords that swing is that what they mean so this doesn't count i'm assuming so i was just setting up to fight the eye and you know the eye wants to fight me so let's hope i have everything here uh, i don't know how long the thing is before the boss actually spawns so i'm pretty sure the eye doesn't spawn even with that message unless you're above ground so what i think i'm gonna do is we're just gonna spawn it in see what happens now i usually fight the eye cthulhu with way better gear but like do i have a choice not really so i guess we're just gonna take them on like this and see what happens all right i spawned in here let's let's see like i said oh i don't have omni swing installed bro <laughs> That's like a mod I always have installed, and I don't have it installed for once. What the heck? Since when do I not ever have Omni Swing installed? All right. So, yeah, like I said, I, I fight the Eye Cthulhu usually with pretty decent gear. So, if I do lose this fight, you know, pardon me. Pardon me. And I'm pretty much going to treat this like hardcore. So, if I do die, then that's pretty much over. That's pretty much over. Not counting the first, like, five deaths I had on the surface. But let's see here. Ooh, use regular arrows. I probably should have made torch arrows. But it's all good. Just use regular arrows. Don't need to, you know, use my good arrows. Now, I was kind of hoping 
that there would be a uh, a trap here or maybe not even a trap a uh, just red red wire in general just chilling somewhere set up to a statue so i could set up that heart statue i had nope hell no why would there be a wire when the one time i've ever wanted one there to be but it's all good it's all good here um we're doing decent damage i mean it's i could do he's like the second easiest boss in the game whether or not you have shitty gear it just really depends on spacing and the damage you take okay right here we're gonna switch to these arrows because he's gonna have a lot of enemies summoning in on his side which is the main reason why i saved the arrows uh he had he takes more damage during this phase some a uh, little i cthulhu knowledge he takes more damage during this phase but he does more damage on this phase which i believe is the statistics oh god we gotta remember that we are playing an expert so i ain't no bitch i always play an expert you know, there was a time where I used to think expert was pretty damn hard, but then you just play it over and over, and then you're like, okay, this is not too bad. What should I use here? A boomerang? I gotta use something. We gotta switch it up a little bit. Wait, I have shurikens. I have to keep clicking because I don't have Omni Swing installed. What the heck? Why is Vanilla Terraria like this? <laughs> I had to click like 50 times. You know how many times you click on a regular basis? And now I had to click like a million times. Okay, we're gonna heal up here. And then hopefully... 50 seconds will pass by and we can heal up again i'm trying my best to dodge but you know sometimes it's hard Ooh, frame rate dropping right there that low key made me take like an extra hit with the frame rate drop i don't know this is gonna be a close one this is gonna be a close one it's looking like it's gonna be a very close one buff if i can if there's anything to even buff i'm just throwing the shurikens up you know hoping hoping that they hit them eventually no fuck it let's just aim at them we got 30 seconds till we can heal. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could clutch this one out. There's not enough room. There's not enough room. That dash was so sudden. No. <laughs> he had 93 health. And that's it. I guess it's time to see what the surface looks like. I'm going to go into God mode here. And we're just going to see what the surface looks like. What the fuck? The surface has been eaten away. <laughs> it's just slowly coming down. I didn't even know it eats away at the surface like this. But look at this. Oh my god. This is terrible. Hold on. Let me see something here. Let's take that map item out. This one right here. And then let's reveal the map. And then with the map revealed, we can legit see what happened. Oh my god. So that's where the surface was. Where this crimson thing is where it started and it's taking all of that down bro you know what this looks like this looks like one of those like gooey like slap hands you get out of a vending machine look at this oh my god look at the dungeon <laughs> the dungeon started up here and then look how much it's eaten of the world holy this is crazy it, the mod pretty much says your world is a ticking time bomb i thought it was just gonna fill up the surface of lava hell no it does a lot more than that this shit eats your world all right but yeah i pretty much just spent how long an hour to fight the icon Cthulhu just to fuck up and lose i could attempt him again i don't care i hope you guys enjoyed the video check out the mod the mod is very cool and i'll see you all next time